dinner one of Tasty Tuesdays. So for the first course right here, what we have is, it's about two or three ounces of baby carrots. Okay, all right. It's eight ounces of chicken breast covered in chili pepper, then cooked in a frying pan with carrots and some mushrooms, also coated in chili pepper and garlic powder. Then right before I took these out of the frying pan, I put two tablespoons of Thousand Island dressing, which is like, like 40 calories, something like that, and kind of like caramelized and glazed. Mmm, and I'm really excited because I've been saving my calories. And then over here for kind of, I don't know, second course or dessert, I got all my utensils in here. I know, I'm lazy. That was the fastest way I could think of doing this all in one trip. Anyways, uh, this is without protein because I just ran out of protein. So this is just three quarter cups of oatmeal with cocoa powder, a little bit of stevia, and water, and that's it. So I'm gonna eat this first dinner for a Tasty Tuesday, and I'll see you guys at the second dinner. Three days later. All right guys, check out this bad boy of a meal right here. This is what I'm eating for dinner. If I'd stop freaking out, I have some steak, green beans, carrots, let me see if I can get a better shot of this, and mushrooms, all sauteed in the same pan with no butter or anything added fat. Uh, and you know, the vegetables just soak up the juices from that steak, which is cooked at a medium rare. Oh, very good. The steak is probably, I would guesstimate, about 10 to 12 ounces. Um, and then obviously the vegetables are very, very low in calories. But I am super excited to eat this. It looks so, so good. I haven't had a steak in such a long time. It's Sunday, the live broadcast went well. I'm rewarding myself a little bit, baby girl. I got seven weeks. I think I can afford this. Let's do it! Yesterday. All right, guys, so the original plan for the Tasty Tuesdays this week was for me to record every single dinner of this entire week, but one of the nights my battery was dead, then another night the SD card was full. There's just been a lot of stuff that's happening, but I do want to make this a good one for you guys. So what I have right now is kind of, you know, you know when you're cutting, you know you have like those little go-to snacks that are like low in calorie or just really good in taste and you just like go to them and you waste like your last two or 300 calories on them. That's what I do with this. So I'll show you what I got here. Basically just take some cocoa powder. And put it in some sort of a microwavable container and obviously you can make as much as you want so use more cocoa powder if you want more or obviously less if you want less and then I'm gonna put some sort of zero calorie sweetener in there so what I've got is stevia which is a natural sweetener it's an herb and I got Jacoby down here making a bunch of noise being adorable oops dropping stevia so now what we need to do is fill this with a little bit of water and I need to do the dishes. So you kind of have to test it yourself and see how much water you like in your chocolate. But if you put too much, it will be very watery. But if you put too little, it will become super dry and chunky. But then again, if that happens, you can just put more water in. So it's better to aim for less. And then we're just gonna put this in for, I'd say about a minute. And then you're gonna check it and see how it looks. Okay, so here's where the fun comes in. I've got a cup and a half of just some regular corn flakes. This is Special K. And as you can hear, so I'm gonna spread these out on the plate. And as you can hear, a little chocolate concoction is done. I'm gonna bring this over here so I don't burn myself. This is gonna be a delicate operation here, boys and girls. Now we're gonna do, how's this look? It's a little sludgy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a little sludgy. It's not as watery as I was expecting. Actually, this looks pretty awesome. You can see it's like, I mean, it's basically chocolate, just made without any sugar and without any milk or butter. And it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a frosting. It's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry and drizzle this as evenly as possible on top of these cornflakes. So now I have kind of like a little cornflakey, chocolatey mixture that I'm just going to eat with the spoon as I go. And this actually does look pretty tasty. This is so hard to do with one hand, guys. <laughs> but anyways, the cool thing about this is there's very little sugar. There's a little bit of fat from the cocoa powder and carbs, obviously, from the cornflakes. Also, there's protein that's provided from the cocoa powder as well, which is pretty awesome. 
But you know, overall, this is a very low calorie treat. The corn flakes brings us up to about 200, 240, something like that. And the cocoa powder itself, I think, is like 80 for the amount we use because we use it a lot. So there you go, guys. A cool little snack for when you're cutting. Also, this is my dinner, this little chocolate cornflake combo. And over here, I have three, no, four egg whites and two egg yolks. And of course, a pool of testosterone boosting ketchup. Mmm, <laughs> so no, I'm not actually eating Pan Express. I'm not cheating tonight. This is some footage from about eight months ago when I was bulking. And damn, oh, it looks so good being on contest prep right now, but it's not worth it. Being shredded is more worth it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out Tasty Tuesdays. I appreciate you guys checking it out, you know, liking it if you do like it, and commenting. Please let me know what other themes you want. You know, if you want to see all breakfasts, or, you know, you want to see me eat, I don't know, whatever, things that are red, or whatever, just let me know in the comments below. It's always fun to hear from you guys. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Team Beyond the Week. Lift heavy or die my way.